matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest man on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than five years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. And now, one more time for the official introductions. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, USA, presenting the challenger, the Cobra. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so match your corners, not fight. submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up with him. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Big punch lands through the middle. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the Jones. Single collar tie now. Hey, okay, okay, 
Can't take many of those. You better check. And that left hook landed on the button. Oh, massive kick. Didn't see that one coming. But he comes through with a big knee. Check these low leg kicks. Hands high, hands high. Punch over the top. Takedown defense holds up. Straight right hand. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big kick land. And they set. Slips the punch nicely there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? <laughs> Unable to connect there. Straight to the body there by Choi. And they separate. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Try to establish that jab. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. That was a nice strike. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight. Huh? His timing is on point. Straight right hand now, just misses. Muay Thai plump. That knee, that knee hurt him. Get right here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Slips to avoid that left. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. How good is that right hand? And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And he connects there with a punch. So pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, nice shot. Big kick land. He's so committed to body punches. 15 seconds remain in the round. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Connects with a right. Round two next. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. Come on, let's get this together. Listen, you're down right now, but I need you to work. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope to fire one shot. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta deal with the ebbs and flows of the fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Oh, he goes to the counter right just out of range. 
Effective strike there by Shore. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And they separate. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Strong outside leg kick. Oh, straight right. Ooh, big jab. Oh, nice right hand. Nice punch lands over the top. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Oh, single collar tie. Right hand punches the clinch. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Oh, collar tie. And there comes the separation now. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that apparent. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. Trying to establish that jab once again. Strong defense there to block the shot. He's back in the clinch. Watch the knees to start to run out. And both guys really throwing with authority. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to count after blocking shots. What a tricky head kick. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Straight punch lands. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Chor. What a body kick. Oh, that right hand is on point. Beautiful kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. The one-two punch is true. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. No! Oh! Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. And that one was heavy. Throwing hard in the pocket. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Whoa! Now. Starting to do some really well. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent. Oh. He's out! There is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill 
to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 41 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. title retained as the headline